Tiny 1125H2 V6 is the system we're going to review today, a modified, lightweight, optimized system created by Harbor of Tech. Today we'll see how this system works, what build it is based on, the applications it includes, its idle performance, whether it has the Microsoft Store, if we can switch it to Spanish, and more. So stay until the end of this video because it's an excellent system with brutal performance for slow, low-resource computers. So let's start with the installation. And first, I want to be transparent with all of you. This system is premium. It's paid. In the pinned comment, I'll leave two videos. The first is called Benchmark, which are tests the creator has done with this system. And the second is called Download, where he explains step-by-step -step how to download this excellent operating system Tiny 11 25 H2 V6. Once you have the ISO image, all you need to do, as always, is create a bootable USB with Rufus or Ventoy. Boot that USB from your PC's BIOS and start the installation. Once installed, you'll be right here at the Tiny 11 25 H2 V6 desktop. We've got the official Windows 11 wallpaper, the recycle bin, and an app called Configure, which we'll click. Remember, this Tiny 1125H2 V6 comes in U.S. English, but later we'll see if we can switch it to Spanish Mexico. Opening the configuration app by Harbor of Tech and Apatis Free Toolbox, it contains the following. Creator support, where you can visit the creator's YouTube channel or join his Discord. Install popular web browsers for free, like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, and Opera. Install drivers. In the System Configuration section, enable or disable paging files. Enable or disable Windows Defender. Control Windows Update. Enable all updates. Enable only security updates. Or disable all updates, though it warns that this could affect the Microsoft Store. Enable or disable file compression. In fact, since Tiny 1125H2 v3, this compression reduces the system to just 7 gigabytes of disk usage. It takes about 45 minutes, but doesn't affect any system files, so it's an excellent option to save space. Further down, we see special offers, such as a program called Velotic, a system optimization tool by the creator, and even a service to request a customized Windows OS tailored to your tastes and preferences. Now, let's check what this Tiny 1125H2 V6 includes. In the taskbar, we see the centered start menu and no bloatware or weird apps. We have the search menu, file explorer, and importantly, Microsoft Store to install your favorite apps. As always, let's test it by installing WhatsApp. If WhatsApp installs, any other app like Roblox or Minecraft will install as well. And yes, WhatsApp opens successfully, so you'll have no issues installing apps from the Microsoft Store. Typing the command Winver, we see Tiny 1125H2 v6 is based on Windows 11 25H2, specifically build 26200.5761, one of Microsoft's latest builds. Opening Task Manager, the CPU usage is excellent between 3 to 5 percent, and RAM usage is 2.5 gigabytes out of 4 gigabytes. This review is running on 4 gigabytes of RAM and a compatible dual-core, two-thread processor. The ISO size is 4.53 gigabytes in English. It's fully compatible with Rufus or Vintoy, no TPM or secure boot restrictions. The download link is found in the creator's videos in the pinned comment. Now, checking disk properties, Tiny 1125H2 v6 takes 13.9 gigabytes of space. But if you enable compression in the Configure app, you can reduce it to 7 gigabytes. Looking at Control Panel Programs, there are no pre installed apps. Under Windows Features, it includes .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8, Multimedia Options, PDF Printing, Document Printing Service, SMB, Direct Play, and Client Folders. Right-clicking the desktop shows only the standard Windows context menu. In Settings, 
we see the system requires medicine to function correctly, so you'll need to apply it for full usability. Aside from WhatsApp, there are no apps installed, meaning no bloatware, unlike official Windows 11. Under Privacy and Security, Security, the system uses Windows Defender as its default antivirus, but if you don't want it, simply disable it in the Configure app. In Windows Update, updates are paused until December 27, 2069. You can resume them, but it's not recommended since this is a light system and updates might reintroduce files that were removed for optimization. Now let's test installing a browser. From the Configure app, we install Mozilla Firefox. The installer downloads directly from Mozilla's website and within moments, Firefox is installed. Browsing on YouTube runs super fast, proving the system is efficient. Finally, let's try changing the language to Spanish Mexico. Go to Start, search PowerShell, run as administrator, and type install underscore language, and press Enter. Then type ES-MX for Spanish Mexico language. If you wanted Spanish Spain, it would be ES-ES. -ES. Once installed, go back to Settings, then Language and Region, and select Spanish Mexico. After that, under Administrative Language Settings, copy Settings to the Welcome screen and New User Accounts, then Restart. After rebooting, the system now shows everything in Spanish. Desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, music, videos, etc. So yes, Tiny 11 25H2 V6 can be switched to Spanish without issues. If you want to try this system, check the pinned comment with the two videos, benchmarks, live tests by the creator, and download, step-by-step -step installation guide. And if you want more videos on modified and optimized operating systems like Windows 11 Lite, Windows 10 Lite, Windows X Lite, and Mini OS, check the playlist appearing on screen now. Click it, and I'll see you there.